FabFilter Pro L is one of the most popular limiter plugins out there. Let's explore eight key features of this plugin that will have a positive impact on your mastering and workflow. To access the LUFS meter, which is the standard for music streaming platforms like Spotify, we don't need to install any additional plugins, we can access LUFS directly. Simply select the loudness option from the meter scale button. Here you will find a list of different LUFS types categorized based on playback platforms such as music streaming sites like Spotify and Apple Music, and even the EBU standard, used for broadcasting such as television. In the STRM section, there are two display modes for loudness. In the absolute mode, it shows the current LUFS value. While the relative mode displays the deviation from the target LUFS, this feature is quite interesting and useful. The next item is the Display Mode button, which allows you to choose the waveform display format. There are four different display modes for the waveform as well as an option to turn it off. You can customize it according to your preference. This plugin has several styles for limiting, which essentially refer to its algorithms and how it operates. The first four types were also present in the previous version. Here, we will discuss the last four types. Aggressive mode is designed to provide a punchy and upfront sound. It's ideal for tracks that need to stand out and grab the listener's attention. This mode emphasizes loudness and can add a sense of energy and excitement to your mix. Modern mode combines transparency with loudness. It uses advanced algorithms to retain the natural dynamics of the audio while still achieving competitive loudness levels. This mode is perfect for contemporary music styles where clarity and punch are essential. Bus mode is tailored for use on group tracks or buses. It smooths out the dynamics and ensures a cohesive sound across multiple elements. This mode is excellent for drums, vocals, or any grouped instruments that need consistent and balanced processing. The safe mode is used when you want to increase the volume of the sound without reducing any peaks. This mode guarantees that no distortion occurs in the sound. The next feature is called Look Ahead, and it's an extraordinary capability. This feature allows the plugin to analyze the input signal before processing it, which enables it to respond promptly and with greater accuracy to signal peaks before they cause clipping and distortion in the output. I recommend using this feature if you want a punchy output. Sometimes our ears mistakenly perceive a louder sound as better. To address this issue, we use the Level Match feature. When increasing the input, Hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and the output level will decrease accordingly. Another useful feature is the Unity Gain. It works similarly to the previous point. To enable it, go to the Output section and turn on the Unity Gain option. This feature allows you to hear only the impact of the limiter, helping you make informed decisions. Oversampling is a feature that enhances the quality of audio processing by increasing the internal sample rate of the signal before applying the limiting process. This technique helps reduce aliasing and nonlinear distortions, which can be particularly problematic when dealing with high levels of limiting. When used together with the true peak limiting feature, oversampling ensures that intersample peaks do not exceed the set ceiling level. This is crucial for preventing clipping during digital to analog conversion or when transcoding to lossy formats like MP3. The audition limiting feature is designed to help you hear the effect of the limiting process 
by isolating and playing back the difference between the processed and unprocessed signals. Essentially, it allows you to listen to only what is being removed or altered by the limiter.